Let's take a look at the cordage card. The cordage card, like all the Grim Tools, is stainless steel, and this is sized to fit in a personal survival tin, but this needs to be assembled, and when this is assembled, this is not going to fit in your wallet. What this tool does is it takes trash resources, such as plastic bottles, and converts that into cordage. Cordage is one of the five critical items in any survival situation. There's already a great video on this channel about assembling this card. I'm going to assemble it, but it's not designed to be a tutorial. I'm just going to put the tool together. So once I have the screws with the washers, I've got my razor blade. I'm going to go bevel down. I'm going to go edge out. And I'm going to set that in here. So assembly is pretty easy on this. You just have to make sure you have your razor blade in the proper orientation. And the video that Jordan's got on the channel does a great job explaining that. Once this is assembled, this is still small enough to fit in a personal survival tin, but this is not going to fit back in your wallet. Now this makes cordage the width of whatever these spacers are. So you can change these spacers out and you can make smaller cordage if you maybe were looking for something the size of fishing line. If you were doing more structural work, a thicker spacer is going to give you stronger cordage. The size that comes on here standard, this is going to work great for hafting any of the grim arrowheads or the spearheads. Uh, lashing a pack frame would work great with this style cordage. And this is probably the best use of limited materials. So unfortunately, plastic bottles are pretty much everywhere. If you're in a true survival situation and you've got limited gear on you, like some of the Grim stuff, chances are you don't have a container. And one of these bottles, the first thing I want to do with it would be to reserve it for carrying water. But after that, I need some cordage. And this thing is going to turn out cordage a whole lot faster than if I have to find natural materials and twist two-ply reverse cordage. So to use this thing I've got a plastic bottle and you can cut the top or the bottom off. You need this straight section. So where the top is, when it starts to funnel in, and when the bottom starts to taper down, that is not what you're going to be able to use. Now I've got scissors on my multi-tool and I'm going to try to clean this cut up a little bit and give myself a tail where I can get it started. So I've got a little bit of a tail cut and it's kind of got a kind of a tapered end to it. And I'm just going to feed this into the card. So at this point you can just run this thing to whatever distance cordage you need. You can get quite a bit of cordage off of one of these single liter bottles. The two liters you can get a lot of cordage off of those. And this thing just keeps pulling until you get to the very bottom, then it's just going to cut itself off. And I just give it nice smooth pulls. And it's going to break here in just a second. So this is six. 12, 
18, probably about 21 feet of cordage off of one of these small plastic bottles. So this is definitely impressive. This is a card worth carrying. There is trash resources everywhere. And if you are thinking this is plastic cord, it's just not going to hold up that well. I have supported a improvised tarp shelter using cordage off a two liter bottle. And I set it up and left it up just to see how long it lasted. And the tarp lasted 10 months and it was just a sheet of Tyvex that I had some duct tape around. The cordage was up for that 10 months and was going strong. I took it down when the tarp actually ripped. So 10 months exposed in direct sunlight with no issues whatsoever. So in a short term emergency situation that you would be relying on cordage like this, this is all you're going to need. So if you're thinking I carry paracord and I carry bank line and I carry fishing line, I don't need that. I carry all that stuff too, but a card like this is going to give you an infinite amount of cordage. Now, not only is this cordage strong, when you apply heat to this, this actually shrinks down. So that is going to work out great for hafting arrowheads or if you were to break a canoe paddle or a spear or a tent pole and needed to uh, bind it together. Applying heat to this plastic cordage shrinks it down and holds it very tight. This is something that you definitely need to add to your kit. I don't care how much cordage you're carrying, uh, you're going to run out eventually. And I don't care where you go in the world, you're going to find plastic garbage laying around that you can turn into useful cordage.